Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and today we're going to be taking a look at another comic book haul. If you recall last week, we took a look at the original incarnation of X Factor in that comic book haul. Now we're going to take a look at incarnation numbers 2 and 3. That's right, there is a third incarnation of X Factor, uh, which took place right after the second incarnation. Uh, so without further ado, we have X Factor... Number 74, Strong Guy Goes Wild. As you can see there on the cover, uh, you got Strong Guy. I, I forget the guy's name he's battling. Is it? I think it starts with a T, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, and then you got Polaris Havoc and Wolfsbane in the background there. Then we have the all-new, all-different X-Factor, number 79, Rhapsody of Death. You got Quicksilver and Multiple Man on the cover. Uh, and then female mutant down at the bottom. I guess her mutant power has something to do with music. Um, and this is the 30th anniversary of The Amazing Spider-Man, 1962 to 1992. Up next we have, and don't mind the prices that are stickered on the, uh, sleeves. I just found sleeve. I had extra sleeves in my closet, so I just put the comics in there. It has nothing to do with the price of the comic. But this is X-Factor number 87. 30 Years of X-Men, 1963 to 1993. On the cover, you've got Strong Guy, Polaris, Wolfsbane, Quicksilver, Multiple Man, and Havoc. And it looks like they're facing off against possibly Charles Xavier there. Uh, perhaps. It's somewhat some bald guy who's seated. So who else could that be but Professor Xavier? Now coming up, well, first let's do... We have the annual... X-Factor number 7, Shattershot Part 3, Showdown for Spiral. You got Mojo there in the background. You got Spiral. Uh, it looks like that maybe Lady Deathstrike up front. And then you got Strong Guy, Wolfsbane, Multiple Man, Quicksilver, Havoc, and Polaris. Now comes the third incarnation of X-Factor. This X-Factor was made up of just three mutants. You had... Forge, you had Mystique, and you had Sabretooth. So here we have X Factor number 122. Enter Sabretooth, gathering the hounds. Uh, one thing that I don't really care for about the old book barn is they write in pencil uh, price on the cover. I don't care for that at all. Uh, this was, however, the old price. They are now dollar comics, uh, or you can buy 10 for 7 bucks, which is really cool. And as you can see, you got Mystique in Sabretooth's eye uh, reflecting there. Uh, and then we have X-Factor number 129, Sanctuary. On the cover, you've got Forge and Mystique. Uh, I had this one at one point. Uh, something happened to it, I'm not sure. Uh, but I believe Sabretooth is in this issue as well. But yeah, this was the third incarnation of X-Factor. Uh, again, it was made up of Forge, Mystique, and Sabretooth. Uh, I don't really know a whole lot about this incarnation other than that. So anyway, guys, there you have it. The second and third incarnations of X-Factor in this week's comic book haul number three. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. Uh, also, go ahead and hit the like button and the uh, notification bell. Leave us a comment and tell us what you think. Uh, let me know if there's anything that I didn't get accurate or whatever in the comments below. I'm Shannon for Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, my friends.